did an internship at a celebrity gifting company um, by the name of Social Hill, uh, based out of West Hollywood. Um, and they do, they're a permanent gift suite, so they do like 365 days of gifting. They do special suites for all of like the award shows. So when I got there, it was like in the middle of award season. They always want to have people coming in, so they're kind of, a lot of the people in the office didn't know, they didn't know about like this, like the CW or the Disney shows or stuff like geared towards like young adults. Do a lot of TV, like people, not as many movie people, but they try to get movie people in. Um, so I was like, I was in charge of making like the list of people we should invite. So I was like, they had a couple people from the like, class in before, so I was like, whenever I was making the list, I always put them on, I kind of put a couple people from the Glee cast, and we ended up getting Vanessa Langes, who plays Sugar Mata, and I was like, we have to have Grant. We had Grant in right after sectionals, um, and I'm like, he has this big storyline coming up, you have to have him in, and they're kind of like, eh, like, just have him in, so I invited him in, and he came in with his manager, um, and this is like the first time he'd done like, this kind of stuff. So we kind of got to like introduce him and walk him through and everything and I'm pretty sure I made a blog post all about this but I'm just going to talk about it quickly again. And we have Pandora playing in the background and we're just getting ready to start the gifting and him and I are standing there and Glad You Came came on. And we're like, really? <laughs> like, <laughs> and him and I just start laughing. And it was so hilarious, like, of all the songs to have. And so my boss is like, okay, who did it better? You, um, you or The Wanted? And he just kind of turns to me, and I'm like, well, they did an acapella version, so you can't really, like, compare the two. But he did pretty awesome, and he was just kind of like, a grant was kind of like, thank you. We got to walk him around, and he was just, he kept saying, he's like, and I get this too, and I get this too. I'm like, yes, you get everything kind of thing because we do give away like a lot of stuff. And then at one point I remember he turned to me and he's like, what did I do to deserve this? And I'm like, it's, you just, you, um, and you better get used to it because um, you're going to end up doing this more and more. And we kind of talked a little bit at the end and he's like, I don't really do, like, a lot of this, like, pressy kind of stuff. And we're like, well, this isn't a press thing. But the stuff, it is true, though. The stuff he, Grant chooses to do is a lot of, like, stuff that means something to him. Like, he went to the Glad Awards because that meant something to him. And he went to the opening of War Horse because he loves theater. So to be able to, like, be some of the first people from the fandom that he ended up meeting and to tell him all of this kind of thing and, like, set him up in a good way was kind of a really nice thing to do. And since then, he's gone on and done that movie, and he's doing all this, like, other things. And we had Oliver Phelps in, and that was kind of us. <laughs> and, like, a lot of the times, the people that you meet, like, that you meet end up being shorter than you think they are. But, like, Grant, Grant and Oliver were, like, the only two people that I met that were, like, taller than me. So I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> up instead of like looking in the person's face or looking like down a little bit so it was neat to meet like him or because of Harry Potter it was like Oliver Phelps um and then we had the guy who the main guy in Awake who it was funny because when like we told our like our boss boss Bob that we were gonna have this main guy from Awake and he's like oh you mean the guy who played Lucy's Malfoy and my friend, or my friend Jill and I kind of turned to each other we're like, how did we not catch that? So I realized while I was editing my video together to talk about my internship that I had missed out on one of like the most important things, or the most fun things, I should say, that I got to do, which was Dancing with the Stars. Social Hill has an agreement with Dancing with the Stars that they do the gift suite for each new cast. We our own like, trailer and we set up all these different rooms, we had some of the sponsors come in to gift to the current cast of Dancing with the Stars. So I got to meet, like, I got to meet everyone. Met Len and Bruno and Carrie Ann and, um, 
I didn't get to meet every single person on the cast, but I got to meet a fair number of them. So I got to meet Gavin DeGraw, I got to meet Donald Driver, Glad It's Night, all of, like most of the people from this cast, celebrities and dancers, and then some past cast. Um, I got to meet, actually ran into Joey Fatone, because right, right after the show aired the premiere episode, uh, they brought all of like, the people, the celebrities in the audience back to get gifted as well. So we were running around, and Don, our, Joey was coming out of one room, and I was coming out of another room guiding someone, and we actually hit, like, like face, or face to, not face to face, but, like, we, like, ran into each other. And I, I just looked up and I'm like, oh my goodness, I just ran into Joey Fatone of NSYNC. And I I was a huge NSYNC fan. Still, I still am. Um, but to run into Joey Fatone and have him apologize to me was kind of a surreal moment. Um, I got to meet I got to meet Kyle Massey and we hung like we hung around for a good bit and his sister was there with him and he's done it with it was kind of neat to see like the the older cast, like, interact with all of these people because they've known, like, they knew, like, they knew them before, and to kind of see them get to reconnect and, like, run into, like, their past partners and, like, other celebrities, and they're kind of giving each other, like, quick advice. Donald Driver was like, okay, dude, like, what do I do to win? And, um, I got, the person I got to spend the most time with, though, was Gavin DeGraw. He was just so fun, and... <laughs> To get to hang around with him, because I've loved Gavin DeGraw forever, and to get to hang around with him for, like, that amount of time, and kind of talk and, like, and laugh with him, because he kept cracking jokes, him and Karina, like, making like making fun of each other while they were, like, getting fitted for sunglasses or whatever. To get to hang around with him, and then Donald Driver. Um, Donald Driver was also hilarious, because he was the football player of the season, so, like, everyone was, like, asking him... But like dancing versus football, and then Julia White. I was I got to hang out with Urkel for like an hour, so it was kind of insane because he's like he's an old kind of pro at the gifting kind of stuff, but the dancing is he's like I have to get home and and rest up or my partner's going to kill me kind of thing because he was like the last one to come in that was at the end of end of like our time there on the set that day. Um, and then I also got to meet Buzz Aldrin. And of course, like when he was on, they had asked him like what was harder kind of thing. And he jokingly said that I think that he jokingly said dancing was harder. But yeah, so Dancing with the Stars is something that I can't believe I forgot to talk about. But I kind of wanted to add it to the end of this video talking about my internship. And there's also other stories that I probably forgot, like people that I met, like Alex Hartman. Um, who plays, he's in this latest, like, Power Rangers season, and Ryan Cabrera and Evan Ross came in, um, and they're, and they're friends, so to get to find, like, that out, and kind of get to talk to them for a little bit, and they're really nice, and I think those are, like, the two other ones that I can't believe that I forgot to mention, because Ryan Cabrera happened on, like, the first day that I was at the suite, so he was, like, my first celebrity, um, my first celebrity that I got to to interact with when I was in at the suite, so that was kind of neat to get to talk to him because he's kind of someone else that I really like. I really am a fan of theirs and I like their music, so to get to meet him was a neat experience as well. Everything I have to talk about about my internship. So I have one more video coming up, part three, I guess you can call it if we're calling this my LA diary, part th uh, part two. So part three is coming, and I've got some, a couple other like neat things that I wanted to talk about with that. So look out for that, and that's coming soon. Not over you.